Hello viewers, welcome back. In our today's video, we will see the effect of power cable on the short circuit current leaving the distribution transformer secondary side in case of a downstream fault in the power network. In our today's video, we will do the calculation with two cable types of the same size to check the effect of this change on the short circuit level. Whenever the fault occurs in the system, electrical components connected to the system will start to contribute towards the fault point. Today, we are looking at the effect of cable on the value of short circuit current. To see the cable's effect, first we need to identify some rated parameters of the cable which can be found in the cable's technical data sheet. These parameters are the rated current carrying capacity of the cable and the rated cable impedance. It is important to mention that these parameters changes with the cable size. Therefore, first we need to select the size of the cable based on the transformer's secondary current. To keep the relation with our last video, we are considering the same 2000 kVA transformer with 2510.3 ampere secondary current. For our today's calculation, we are considering low voltage power cable of 185 mm square. We are considering that the fault is occurred at the cable end connected to the switch gear and we will see the effect of cable in our calculation for the short circuit current. Now we start the calculation. Here is the first scenario where we have selected the 4 core 185 mm square cable for our calculation. To calculate the short circuit current, first we need to calculate the total short circuit impedance of the circuit during a short circuit condition. Parameters to consider in the equation for calculating the total short circuit impedance are the Z-TRAFO which is the rated short circuit impedance of the transformer and its value is available from the transformer data sheet or nameplate data. Second parameter is the Z-Utility which is the ratio of the rated transformer KVA and the transformer short circuit KVA and its value is dependent on the short circuit current entering the transformer primary side. These two values we have already calculated during our discussion of V-Log5 and we will take the values from our last discussion which were 6% and 3.53%. The third added value is the Z-Cable which can be calculated using the formula shown here. In the formula, ZC is the cable impedance and its value is from cable data sheet which is 0.127 ohms per kilometer. This is the corresponding value at 50 Hz frequency and 90 degrees cable end temperature. L is the length of cable. Here we assume that the length of the cable between the transformer terminal and the other side of the cable connection at the LV switchboard is 50 meters. Since the cable impedance is in ohm per kilometer, therefore we need to convert the cable length into kilometer as well. S and V secondary are the transformer rated KVA and the secondary voltage and the values are 2000 KVA and 460 volts. N are the number of cables per phase which is obtained from the ratio between the rated current of the transformer secondary and the rated current carrying capacity of the selected cable. In our case, it is found to be 7 cables per phase. It is important to mention that to keep the calculation simple, we are considering the cable installation in an open air and the cable bunching effect is neglected. After filling all the parameters in the equation, the value of Z cable is found to be 0.85%. Once the total short circuit impedance is calculated, then the short circuit current at the cable end is simply the ratio of rated transformer secondary current and the total short circuit impedance. In this case, rated secondary current is 2510.3 ampere and the total short circuit impedance is 10.38%. The value of short circuit current is found to be 24.18 kilo amperes. It is important to note that in our last video, the value of short circuit current at transformer secondary terminal without taking the cable effect was 26.34 kilo amperes. Therefore, we can say that the cable helped in reducing the value of short circuit current to 24.18 kilo amperes. We are discussing this second scenario to notice the effect of taking single core cable instead of four core cable of the same size 185 mm square on the short circuit current. First thing to notice is that the current carrying capacity of the single core cable is more than the four core cable. Therefore, the number of cables per phase are reduced to six cables. All other parameters of the equation will remain the same. With single core cable, the value of Z cable is increased to 1% which helps in further reduction of short circuit value to 23.84 kilo amperes. However, cable being an expensive material and due to considerable difference in price among different cable types, its choice is always a technocomic decision. So this is the end of our today's video. I hope it will help you to develop the understanding about the topic. 
If you like the video, please hit the like button. Please give suggestions for improvement in the comments box. Please also let me know if you need information about any other topic. I will try to cover it in my next vlogs. Please subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get updates about the latest videos. Thank you.